ah, don't stop me now with Queen. And uh, <laughs> me and Connor were actually talking about a video. I saw it on Facebook a few days ago. I don't and remember what the name of the show was. I think it was... Uh, oh. It, it, it's an interpretive dance yeah. thing. Yeah, it was so funny. Yeah, it <laughs> got it got cancelled like after one or two seasons. Really? Yeah, oh, I've never seen it until like, the guy's so funny, and he got he got sent to America to do like their version of the show over there, and he did it over there as well. But he did like loads of different songs as well. He did like Careless Whisper and you know Don't Stop Me Now and I oh, was trying to move. Oh, George Michael. Um, wanna break free? No, 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 no. What's the George Michael? Uh, I never wanna dance again. Guilty friend, I got no oh. rhythm. God, oh, yeah. uh, that, well, that one. He did that one as well. Don't um, ever sing that again. No, uh, <laughs> I've got a beautiful voice, mate. What are you talking about? Um, but yeah, he's a great guy. And well, I know you can watch. do Otto. All right. <laughs> Go on, say, hey, Bart, dude. Hey, Bart, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, you'd have to um, send us that thing on the WhatsApp group and I'll have, I've watched. Yeah, d- yeah, we'll have to watch yeah, it. Yeah. It is very. I might have to watch it after this show. It was really funny. Um, anyway. We will uh, talk about the football again because it's quite an interesting topic, this, because um, obviously on Sunday we had the uh, old firm derby, um, which is always a one-sided race now because it's not like it was a few years ago when it was always either Rangers win or Celtic win by literally just a goal. Um, and sadly now, Rangers and Celtic is always going into the uh, colours of green and white and they won the uh, seventh straight Scottish Premiership which is exactly the same amount as TNS winning their seventh straight Welsh Premier League. Something about green and white. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. It's all green and white at the moment. Um, But Celtic, they won five goals to nil. Rangers were three nil down, weren't they, by half time, I think it was. Um, And during this match yesterday, we had Stephen Gerrard being linked uh, to the job um, come the new season. So, Joe, what do you think about this? Because in my eyes, Stephen Gerrard is not got the experience. So for him to manage a big club like Rangers, because let's be honest, they are a big club, even though they're not winning the Cups at the moment, they need to have a team that can rival against Celtic. Well, you've got to start your trade somewhere, haven't you? Got, he's do, you ever, do you ever think Football League or something like or even a non-league club? Because look at like Kevin Davis. I would, I would make the argument that he has done that. Mm. Because when? Liverpool under 18s. Mm. He season. got linked with the MK Dons. Yeah, but look Don- at Gareth Southgate. He got offered the MK Dons job, <laughs> well, didn't he? But he didn't want to. Look, it. look, Gareth Southgate's doing pretty well in England, isn't he? After yeah. doing... You don't, you what's know, he, I think he's doing well. What, what, what's he done right? Well, look at look at the way that he's transformed the squad. Like, I don't yeah, want to go yeah, too depth into this yeah, because yeah, we've yeah, already done yeah, this. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but what have we done? <laughs> what have we done? Well, we got to the World Cup for starters oh, and we got to God. the Euros as yeah, well. That's... that's if you're going to get the England job, if you don't make a major tournament, then you don't deserve to be a manager ever again with those sources and the teams you have around you. Come on. I mean, look at other managers that have done and stepped into position and done well. Pep Guardiola, you know, he was only the manager of the Barcelona uh, B team or the under 18s or whatnot, or the academy teams for a bit until he got the, the main job uh, there. And Zidane Zidane, same situation for him at Real Madrid. So, you know, maybe this is the way that football teams need to go these days in order to have their uh, their successors come into the football club and be successful. Because as we've seen with Guardiola and Zidane, it does work. So I've yeah, got... Yeah, if you get the players. I've got confidence that Gerard will be able to succeed at Rangers if he was to get the job. This is pure speculation speculation at the moment as to whether or not he does go, and go on forth and get the job. Because, you know, with those links still with Liverpool, you can easily get, you know, a couple of players on loan and whatnot if he needs them. And that's top quality Liverpool players coming from a good academy there. Um, coming into the uh, arguably uh, the Scottish Premier League, which is similar level to the Championship, so it was just be the same as them learning them out to uh, a team in the Championship and hoping that they succeed there. Except this time with Rangers, they can at least play in Europe as well. Um, so I, I, I'm all, I'm all, all for Steven Gerrard going on to to Rangers if he wants to manage there, but it's the question of if really, because if the, if 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 he goes there and this Liverpool door closes for the time being, and say something happens to Klopp, then I think he's r- missed out on a real good opportunity to to not take over that job. I'm not saying something's going to happen to Klopp, because I think he's uh, going to do a decent job, but it's 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 a big it's a big risk, really, for him to go to Rangers, because it could either go really well or really badly. It's mm. been dubbed as a, like a Liverpool loan him to Rangers to give him some sort of managerial experience, because yeah. I think mm. the under-18s isn't challenging enough for Stevie G. Well, that's what I mean, under-18s is not... 
you know, it's, non-league. The, it's the same I, situation with Patrick Vieira, uh, New York City FC. Yeah. Because he's been placed there from the Man, the, City. The Man City group that owns those three club, f- football clubs, the City, uh, New York City FC and Melbourne in Australia. Um, eventually, he's going to be the one that's probably going to succeed uh, Guardiola at City if they keep hold of him amidst this Arsenal rumours and whatnot. I'm not sure what his mindset is, but the fact that he's been at New York for so long and not really looked at towards joining Arsenal's back staff shows a lot of content towards staying committed to what the plan is for him with the City team. So would that change for Gerrard if he left for Rangers instead of staying in the Liverpool Academy and managing the under-18s? I don't think it would because of how much of a legend he is for the football club, but it would certainly put a big dent on his managerial prospects if he was to fail at Rangers after taking on such a big challenge at such an early stage of his managerial career. It's strange. It's a strange one. I, I, I mean, my problem is with the Scottish Premiership at the moment is that it's all going in one direction and that's Celtic Football Club. Yeah. And I just think when you look at the whole Premiership as, as a whole, it's so boring. You know, Scottish football is at an all-time low. Yeah, um, they're not making major tournaments. Celtic are, are, don't really, you know, when you hear about Celtic winning a cup, it's just old news to us, isn't it? Really, it's nothing exciting, nothing fresh um, from that side of things. And you know, it gets good coverage as well. They got Sky Sports and BT Sport, pretty much showing you all the big games. Uh, and obviously, we all here live in either England or Wales, and that's being shown just as much as nearly as, nearly as much as the Premier League. So it's a strange one, but. Um, we'll move on from the whole Stephen Gerald link thing for a moment because I just thought we'd get in this topic because it's happened for many years now. There was even a a rumour at one point a few years ago that Celtic and Rangers could come to the Premier League and take part in the English Premier League. Now, nonsense. Yeah, I know, but it has been discussed. So shall we quickly just decide? Well, I bet Rangers would love to be in the Premier League because they'd love to have the money. That's about it. I was going to say, what, what is because going they on with they Rangers? Won't, they won't be able to compete. Well, that's one of the things about Gerard as well, is whether or not he would go because of uh, the lack of funds that they'll be able to give him. Don't they still rely on Kenny Miller? Basically, they He's spend... Gone. Is he gone? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. he had a bust up after the, they lost to Celtic in the semi-final. Him and, I can't remember who the other player was, um, had a massive row and fight, and they've both been suspended by the club and had the contracts terminated. Oh, God. Basically, at that situation at Rangers, they only spend roughly about 15, 20 million... Uh, in the summer to or per per transfer windows over the two two windows in order to improve their squads. The rest of it's brought in on loan and it's not really compared to what Celtic are able to do at the moment because they're spending roughly 25-30. So the money could be a big question for Gerard if he was to go. And certainly if they were in the Premier League, it would be a much easier task for, for anyone to manage that Rangers football club in order to to keep him there but you know as you said you know we only see the big games really of the Scottish Premier League here in the UK whether it's you know Hearts playing or uh, Kim Harnock or Rangers or Celtic you know the big the big teams Aberdeen as well can be put in that in that bracket but yeah I think Rangers would struggle to stay in the Premier League and I think Celtic would probably be a bit mid-table team in my opinion mid-table team yeah. okay what, what do you think Joe? I have to say, can I just say, just to jump back on the Gerrard thing, the thing that accelerated the rumours was last week there, Rangers chairman was seen at Anfield next to Kenny Dalglish watching the Roma game. Mm. So that's what's accelerated the rumours. Uh, Maybe he wanted to see Champions League football since his team can't exactly. get any. It was, it was <laughs> nice to see him celebrating the Liverpool goals as well. Um, mm. Basically, the way I see it is, I agree with Craig Ballamy, I read his book a couple of years ago, still got it if you want to borrow it at some point. And, uh, I'll be all right, thanks. You'll be all right. He said when he was at Celtic, he went on loan for six months after having a falling out with, I think it was Sooners that was in charge at Newcastle at the time. And he oh said, my he God, said, that, was, he that said, was dreadful. He said the level was so boring. He said it was like League One equivalent to Scottish Premier League. And I agree with him. Lower Championship League, the Upper League One was his, what he described it as. I think Celtic probably bottom half of the table, maybe staying up for relegation. Rangers just wouldn't even survive in the Premier League if they come to England because obviously they struggle financially. Uh, they might do okay in the championship, but I don't know. I, I couldn't see them doing that well. It was people say all oh, years ago, oh yeah, they'd be competing for the title both with the clubs. No, they wouldn't. Mm. It's a completely different standard. They're playing teams that can't even compete with them. Okay, Aberdeen were pushing close for one point last year, and then they ended up finish. What was it? Twenty odd points behind. Yeah, it's yeah. Too big of a gap. 
way too big. And it's been like that for a few years. It's not like it's one season. Huh. No, it is, it is strange. But no, that's what we think, because obviously the Scottish Premiership is just one of those where I would love to follow it more, but I just can't get into it if there's no competition. It's, it's arguably more... Uh, more of a dispersed quality of teams than La Liga, mm. because when you look at La Liga, you got obviously you got Barcelona and Real Madrid, and you got the the next tier below that of Atletico, uh, Valencia, Seville, uh, teams like that. But then if you look down at the bottom of the table, you got teams that are basically yo-yoing all the time between La Liga and uh, the second division in Spain. It's it's not competitive because you know as Barcelona and Real Madrid dominate La Liga. Celtic and Rangers now, after Rangers have managed to get themselves back into the Premier League after the liquidation and whatnot, they're still the two top teams in Scottish football, and it'll it, it'll be the it'll be like that for many years unless some big financial investor comes into Scottish football, which is not going to happen because you know it's not the most appealing league. And yeah, I just I could see Rangers competing, but they need that money. And mm. that's what the Premier mm. League would provide. Just think about Southampton in this last pass window, in this last transfer window. They spent uh, 20 million on a Monaco striker, Car- Carrillo. He didn't and even play. he doesn't even play that often. But that's the kind of money that they can spend. Rangers, would be, Rangers would be in the same bracket, but uh, it, it's, it's uh, only, only in hindsight would you have to tell if they would survive. But looking on from their own situation in the Scottish Premier League, I don't think so. Before we wrap up, I just want to quickly mention as well. You know, Brendan Rodgers has, has won another trophy while he's at Celtic. Great for him, don't get me wrong. It's the, the, the glitter is all there for him. It'll look good on his CV. But, you know, us football fans here, we all know that if you're the manager of Celtic, not much is going to go wrong for you in terms of the premiership, the trophies in Scotland. Then it, the only yeah. chance they really have is the Champions League. It's and like Ronnie to... Dyler. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. No, no, it's all right. Ronnie Dyler was in Charles, wasn't he? He won trophy after trophy. But mm. he still got the sack because it wasn't interesting enough. But yeah, for, it, for the Celtic fans, it was still boring football. He could win every single trophy he wanted. Yeah. Apart from obviously but the European, because they always struggle in Europe. That's the big thing with Brendan Rodgers. He can win every league, a trophy domestically in Scotland. But his big thing, his Celtic career could be defined on whether he can get them far in Europe. Mm. Because at, and he has at the moment, hasn't. it's been group stage, exit, group yeah. stage, exit, group stage, exit. And, and, and 10 years ago, they. Okay, it was always difficult, but there was United. They, they, yeah, they, yeah. Well, we still we still finished the group on top. Just saying, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah, oh, that was a great free kick, and Louis Sahar could have equalised, but missed the penalty. I remember that night. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I I think that's the problem with Scottish football. There's no European existence from the group stages, so it's it's a weird one. But surely as well, when you look at Brendan Rodgers, very quickly, would this get him any big job? outside of Celtic because he, he's been rumoured as part of the the short list maybe for the Arsenal job but that doesn't prove If he was to go to a club like Arsenal it would only be a short term fix I don't yeah. think he's there for the long run No, no, no. I think you're right He struggled at Liverpool He did Apart he, from he the 13-14 season Yeah, yeah. he but nearly did it but that Premier League would have made so not just for Liverpool but but for Brendan Rodgers as well it would have changed so much for his CV It's tra- it's, it's, it's amazing how one Season can can define someone's career. It's nearly. such a shame that they managed to slip it up, didn't they? And that uh, was that like Denver in, in more ways than hey, one. Hey, hey, hey! Steven Gerrard will teach them how to slip up on, for Rangers, maybe when they're two 0 up against Celtic, and then it ends up being three two. He stopped Rodgers from winning the league once. He'll do it again. <laughs> ah, I like that. That was a good. Rev- that was fair dues. That was a good comeback, Joe. Um, anyway.